it's getting very interesting and very lively. And I'm saying interesting because I can't just believe that in the year of our Lord 2024, some Kenyans have got the audacity to call Raila Odinga Amsaliti. A person who all his life, he has been fighting for the good of Kenyans. Some Kenyans are now calling him Amsaliti. How ungrateful can Kenyans be? Immediately, Raila Odinga talked about dialogue. I did explain in this forum that Raila Odinga and the Gen Z's were speaking the same language. And I know that as time goes by, Kenyans will see that very clearly. And I also know that some Raila Odinga supporters were very mad at him for talking of dialogue. But I'm seeing some of them have now started seeing things very clearly. Their eyes have started opening and they're now seeing what is happening behind the scenes. I want us to have a look at a post shared out by somebody called Ndungu Harun. Raila Odinga to get 20 PS positions in the soon to happen PS purge. I'm certain we will have a few names from Mount Kenya proposed as PSS by Raila Odinga. These are the people we've spent 23 months in the cold with, people who lost because of supporting Raila Odinga. In the event you see me saying Joho, or Paranyam, Mbadi, or Pio Wandai, New Raila proposed PSS and others friendly government offices delivers just know it's an Azimio thing. You will not have your cake and eat it. Don't expect me to fight your wars because you now feel betrayed by Ruto for engaging Raila Odinga. You can now fight Ruto as we stabilize the economy, deliver electricity to all Kenyans of Kenya, secure Kenya, excavate wealth in resources through mining, and streamline public service. I felt the same when you said Raila Odinga was not an option, but guess what? To root home, Raila Odinga is the better option. Azimio, Mimi Nimsarendo, Jewewe. Let's have a look at the comments upon Arundungu sharing out that there are only two leaders in Kenya Raila Odinga and any other president. Abova Delano, majority of people who are saying Raila has betrayed them voted for Ruto. So you, you wonder how Raila has betrayed them. As for me and my all belongings, I will always support Baba, for Baba is always right. And if you doubt, Baba had the nearest electric transformer near for sympathy. Simon Buru, we didn't vote for this government, but Raila will soon be calling the shots. Aya. Frederick Otieno, if Ndungu Harun is joining government, who am I to remain in the cold? Ondieko Diambo, understanding politics of Kenya is not easy. To Ruto's followers, Raila is not a better option, but Ruto himself believes in Raila and he is the best option. Jamigori, if there is one person I'd like to see there, it's Pauline Joroge. Those are some comments upon Arundungu posting that, but I don't like the one of Pauline Joroge because a few months ago we saw what Joroge tried or attempted doing. So I don't personally trust Pauline Joroge. I want us to put all that into perspective for Kenyans to understand what's happening here. If you're watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Let's proceed. Let me repeat this again. 
It's something I've been saying in this forum, though most of you have been disagreeing with me. But let me repeat it. Most Gen Z's were Ayla Odinga supporters. Most of them were people who never believed in William Ruto's presidency. They formed the bulk of the Gen Z's. They were only joined by a few Kenya Kwanzaa who felt William Ruto was persecuting Rigathi Gashagwan. That group then joined Gen Z's and there are also some people who voted for William Ruto thinking he was going to bring to them development. Those ones also just joined Gen Z's. But about 70% of Gen Z's were Raila Odinga or Azimio supporters. It's important for Kenyans to start accepting that fact. Yes. So don't sympathize with Gen Z's that they were killed, but now Raila Odinga is in government. Those Gen Z's are equally happy. Gen Z's seeing Raila Odinga calling shots in Kenya Kwanzaa government. They are happy about that. It's important for Kenyans to know that. I know some Kenyans are mad at Raila Odinga because they are sympathetic to Gen Z's. Those who are Raila Odinga supporters and they are happy, Raila is now calling shots. Maybe a few were not happy. As time goes by, they will come to terms with that reality. Yes, that's what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. This one's calling Raila Odinga Msaliti a hoping majority of them never voted for Raila Odinga. They voted for Ruto. A majority of them are now calling Raila Odinga Msaliti. And then there are also two Raila Odinga supporters who have not yet understood what's happening. And those ones are also being tempted to call Raila Odinga Msaliti. In the fullness of time, they will all be panel beaten into supporting Raila Odinga. So that's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what is happening. Look at the reasons that took Gen Z's to the streets. Look at what Raila Odinga has been fighting for all his life. They are all speaking the same language. The freedom Gen Z's are enjoying today is courtesy to one person, Raila Odinga. So as much as you may disagree with Raila Odinga, let's give the devil his due. Let's stop calling him Amsaliti. If we continue on that trend, then no, no Kenyan, maybe in the future, will offer himself to fight for the country. Because after all, Kenyans are that ungrateful. And the people who are ungrateful are the ones who have led us to this current mess. Since independence, Kenya has only been ruled by two communities. These two communities have been rotating power between themselves. And if Raila Odinga does not work with William Ruto, that trend will continue. These two communities will still continue rotating power between themselves. And even as you look at Rigadi Shagwam, Rigadi's intention is to inherit William Ruto. That's why he's rebelling. He's not rebelling because he loves his people. It's all about power play. It's very unfortunate that I'm seeing some Kenyans talking of Rigadi Gashagwa. Very unfortunate. My advice to Kalonzo Musioka and to his supporters, they should look at the bigger picture. They should not be used to perpetuate two ethnic community domination against other Kenyans. Let Kalonzo Musioka and his team 
let them look at the bigger picture. Let's end this two ethnic tribe domination against other Kenyans. That's why I still support the handshake and I'm also supporting Gen Z's because I believe Rai Rodinga's team and the Gen Z's, they are one and they are speaking the same language. Yes, that's the truth. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Any person watching us outside Kenya, for the first time, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. Those who are still calling Ray Ludingham Saliti, it's your right to call him so. But in the fullness of time, the truth will just come out for Kenyans to see. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.